NCM African. Hello friend, welcome back to another fashion DIY tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how I made this beautiful fascinator cap using my old damask fabric. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. I'll start by showing you the materials we'll be needing to make this fascinator. So I have my straw board here. You can get straw board from people that sell shoe making and bag making materials. I've already cut out the size I'll be needing. You can make yours bigger or smaller. So we need in one of these. I also have my colors they already cut out. So I use the shape I have here already to cut out my colors they the same size and shape. We will need in a plastic band, satin fabric, and this Damax fabric. So this is my old damask fabric. I've had this fabric, this damask hair tie for a very long time. I know it's an outdated fabric. That is why I'm using it for this tutorial to show you, to teach you what you can do with some of those fabrics you think are no longer in use. I have a lot of them yet. Please, if you see have this old damask fabric, please don't throw them away because I'll be bring showing you a lot of things on this channel on what you can do with this the marks that you think are no longer in vogue. There are a lot of beautiful things you can use them for. You can also check my previous video on how I made a very beautiful peel boss cap with one of my Damax fabric. Mm -hmm. I'll be dropping the link on that. So but for today, I'll be making use of this one to make a fascinator. We're also going to be making use of this all purpose adhesive gum. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start by measuring the length of my band. What I have is exactly 15 inches. So I'm going to measure 15 inches and I'll be adding one inch for folding allowance. So after measuring the length, I'm going to be measuring the widest part of my band and what I have here is two inches so I'm going to be marking my two inches all the way down to the length of so I'll apply my gum on my band half inch allowance from this end so I'm going to be trimming out some of this fabric from this narrow and because it's not as wide as the center of the band. wrapping my band I'll need to seal up this needle I'll be using my bias tape I'm using my bias tape to make my finishing on my band so I'll be using my B6000 gum to do this Wrap 
in our plastic band i'm just going to keep this aside so it's time to work on the fascinator i'll start with the color stay i'm just going to bend this into four equal parts i'm just trying to get the midpoint of this So from that midpoint, I'm going to make a straight line or make a straight line from this midpoint to this point. So from this end, I'm going to mark half inch and another half inch. So after making this straight line from the midpoint to this end, I'll be marking half inch away from this line on the both sides. So I'll be connecting this point to this point and I'll be repeating the same thing here. So I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to place this on my straw board and cut out. cutting out this shape I'm going to place it on my damask fabric and cut out this is the right side of my fabric and this is the wrong side so I'm going to place this on the wrong side and I'll be cutting this out leaving about one inch folding allowance all around it coming the straw board to the damask fabric and the color stay to the satin. I'm just going to keep this aside and start with this. I'm going to be making a cut like this. I'll be making some little notches around this to make it easy and flexible for bending.
after wrapping the straw board and the color stay i'm going to be making use of my needle and thread here so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to use my needle and thread and bring this together bringing these two points together with your needle and thread please make sure you do that like two to three times to make it very firm so I'm just going to I'm going to secure this and I'll cut this out I'm going to knot my thread again and I'll be repeating the same thing at the middle of this to make sure I'm closing that opening very well. So you can see I've neatly closed this opening. So I'll just go ahead and knot this. After bringing this together with my needle and thread from the inside, I'm just going to pick a little piece of my damask, apply some gum and cover this from the inside. So I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on this. So after preparing our fascinator cap and the band, so at this point you can decide whatever design or embellishment to put on this. So this band will be going with this, while our design will be going with this. So it's time to create a design for our fascinator. So I have my big circle already cut out. You can make yours bigger or smaller depending on your preference. So but what I have is about radius of 8 to 7 inches. So you can make yours bigger or smaller. So I used my pinky shears to cut this out so I can have this beautiful finishing at the edge. So I'm just going to fold this into now we're making an arc of two and a half inches So two and a half inches, I used it to make my arc. So I'm going to be cutting this. After cutting this out, I'll be using this same measurement to cut another one because I'll be needing two of this. So I have two of this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold like this. And I also fold this like this. And I'll put them together. I'm going to bring them together like this after folding. So I'll be using my needle and thread to gather them 
together. So I'm gathering the two at once. Please make sure your thread is well doubled so that it doesn't break while you are working. I doubled my thread very well because this is a thick material. I don't want my thread to break while I'm working. So please ensure you double your thread very well. And So I'll just go ahead and secure my gathers. knotting very well I'll use my needle and thread and bring these two end together these two end bringing this together we will need to cover this part so just go ahead and cover this part with any design of your choice but i'll be covering this with this bead i'll be using this big pair to cover mine you can you can make a rose you can attach a rose there as your design you can use any embellishment of your choice but i'll be using this bead to cover this so after creating my design i'm going to pick my fascinator base and attach it to my fascinator base fixing our design please do not forget this side with the joining is the side of the fascinator so my design will be facing the front of my fascinator not this side so you can see it's facing the front and not the side please take note of this when you are fixing your design on your fascinator so I'm just going to use my needle and thread and tack this to my fascinator base. So you can see our design, our fascinator has two layers. So I'm using the first layer to tack it to the fascinator cap so we won't have any thread. 
showing on this. So I'm using this first layer to tack on my fascinator base. Make sure you sew this round to enable the design sit well on the fascinator. Hey, it's me. my design to the fascinator base remember i use the first layer to tack this to the fascinator base so to enable me hide the thread so the next thing i'm going to do is to knot this okay I'm done tacking the design to the fascinator base. Isn't this looking beautiful? Our fascinator is coming out really beautiful. Trust me, after watching this tutorial, you won't throw away those old damaks away. If you've watched this video to this point, I believe you love what I'm doing. Please encourage me by giving this video a thumbs up. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments section. So I'm just going to drop this aside. Time to fix our Alice band to our fascinator. So I'm just going to get the inner part of the fascinator base. This is the side and this is the center. So this is my Alice band. I'll be fixing it on this before attaching, attaching it to the main fascinator. So if you want your fascinator to sit at the center of your head, you're going to be attaching the Alice band like this on the center but if you want your and if you want your fascinator to to stay by the side of your head you are just going to bend this a little instead of fixing it from the middle we'll be fixing it from the side so i want my fascinator to sit on the side of my head so i'll be fixing this from the side and not on the middle so i'm just going to bend this a little like this taking it to the side so i'll be using my needle and thread to tack this i'll be using my needle and thread to tack my band to the inner part of my fascinator base So after fixing, after fixing my band to the fascinator base, I'm going to get a little piece of this. I'm going to apply some gum. Thus, I'll be using it to cover this. I'm just going to apply some gum on this, and I'll apply some gum on this and bring them together. So after applying my gum, 
on these two i'm just going to bring them together like this Uh, the max fascinator is ready isn't this looking beautiful you can style this any way you want you can style it this way you can style it this way you can make this looking flat depending on how you want it it's a very beautiful one so let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and if you learned anything from this tutorial if you like it, if it was helpful to you in any way please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please subscribe and press the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload any of my beautiful fashion diys thank you and see you in our next tutorial bye